Hey Food Bop, it's Becca, and welcome back to Baking with Becca. So today, we're going to be making a vegan, no-bake mint chocolate chip pie. Now this recipe is super exciting. We don't have to bake it, it's vegan of course. It's gonna have such a nice fresh taste because of the mint and the chocolate, everything. It's gonna be great together, I'm super excited, so let's go. So here are all of our ingredients for our pie. So here we have 22 mint Oreos, five tablespoons of melted margarine, one carton of non-dairy topping, two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of peppermint extract, green food coloring, and chocolate chips. So our first step is making the crust for our pie. So I took the Oreos out of the pan, the pan and put them into a bowl, and first I'm just gonna break them into small pieces with my hands, and then we're going to add the margarine. So the Oreos are somewhat crushed and we're gonna add in our margarine. This is gonna soften them even more before we finish mashing, which is just going to help us combine it all. I'm gonna use a pastry cutter. You can also use any sort of like electric mixer, stand mixer, but I like to do it the old fashioned way. crust mixture is now ready. It's okay if there are some little pieces, you're gonna add some crunch, some nice texture. Um, so now we want to transfer this over into our pie tin. Just spoon it right in. And this smells so good because of the mint. Wow, super excited. Now you just want to press it in and press it up against the sides. And don't worry if it seems very like wet right now, it's going to sit in the fridge before we add our filling so it'll firm up a decent amount. Now that we are satisfied with some help from Tess with our crust and how it looks, we're going to let this sit in the fridge until our filling is ready. Time to make the filling. So it's pretty much a whipped cream filling because that's what's going to taste best. It's going to be nice and light. I knew this would happen. Come on, carton open. So now we need to add some flavor because this doesn't have much flavor on its own, just a little sweet. So we're going to add some sugar, vanilla, our peppermint extract, which it seems like there's barely anything in here, but it's going to make a difference. Actually, I think a lot of it evaporated away. Going to add a little bit more and our green food coloring. So just do like two or three drops because mint green is very light. And we're gonna mix it up. Start on low speed and work your way up. Okay, this looks really good. It's not, it's not over ripped, which is good because we don't want it to be too fluffy in our pie. And now we're going to add the chocolate to it. Now we're ready to add in our chocolate, but we don't want to add in like these big chocolate chips. And I don't have any mini, so we're just going to chop them up a little bit. So just take a sharp knife and just cut them. And they, obviously they're not going to all be the same size, which is okay, because it's just going to add some nice texture. Um, and also you can add as much chocolate as you want. This is all just based on your own preference. So our chocolate is all chopped. We have a bunch of different size pieces, which is really good. And so I'm gonna take some and put it right in. I don't wanna use all of it because we wanna save a little bit for the top. This is also good to have some like really crushed up pieces because it's going
going to mix in really well with the mint. And then mix it up. chocolate to mint. So now we're going to put it into our crust. Bye. <laughs> so our pie crust is here nice and cool and we're just going to spoon our mixture right in. And again this is no bake so nice and simple. And then flatten it down. This is going to taste so good. Okay, so now we're gonna sprinkle some of our leftover chocolate on top. So now the pie should set in the fridge for a couple hours or until you're not patient enough to wait any longer, but you really do want it to cool. It'll taste better cooler and it'll just help to stay together better. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So the pie is chilled and it's ready to eat. It looks even better than before I put it in the fridge. I don't know how that happened, but it does. So I'm gonna cut it, which I'm a little bit nervous about because I don't know how well it's going to come out of the pan. I mean, it's easy to cut because it's very soft. Crunches of the cookies in there. Okay. Well. Wow. It worked. <laughs> Messed that up a tiny bit, but it looks good. crazy good. I think I would say that's a pretty dang scrumptious. So the flavors in here are incredible. The mint is so strong but it balances so well with the chocolate. I give this a 10 out of 10. I really hope you guys try this recipe. Let me know if you like it. Give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure, make sure to subscribe. If you're in the mood for more mint chocolate desserts, I made mint Oreos a few weeks back. Make sure to check those out. We'll see you next time. Bye.